Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Dede Hawa. If it's your first time here, I love you for stopping by. Thank you for coming. Don't be a stranger, you guys. Hit the subscribe button. If you've been here before, thank you, your family. I appreciate you for coming back every time. Um, You guys, y'all know Africa is always on my mind. <laughs> But there's this video circulating about this guy. It looks like some kind of close meeting they're having and talking about Africa. And this fellow is doing a full presentation on why they need to keep Africa poor, basically. They cannot allow us to industrialize. And I've said this before. I've said this before. The Western world cannot survive without the continent, okay? They will fail without the continent of Africa. The Western world was built on the back of Africans. All right? And we need to keep this in mind. We can't take this lightly. This is one reason why I'm personally like pushing people to consider going back. I'm not saying you just like, give up your life here. I'm still in the States. I'm not saying give up your life. But we need to do things back home. We need to... Nobody's coming to save the continent. If we don't do it, nobody's coming. They're going to come and say, oh, we're here. They're always coming. Like, here, here's how it works, okay? They come, they stir up some drama. While we're fighting amongst ourselves, people are stealing their resources, okay, and taking it away. And when we're fighting, they're instigating. We tear everything up. And we're worse than where we... Like, we end up worse than what, what, what we were when we started fighting. Let's take Liberia, for instance. When they decided they were going to uh, settle the, uh, Liberia, when they were going to set up Liberia, America did not have the best interest of the free slaves at heart. They definitely were not thinking about the indigenous people that were there. Absolutely not. Their whole purpose was, if you think about it, go back and look at history. They didn't have any uh, colony on the continent. That was their one chance to do something. That would be their presence on the continent of Africa. That way they have boots on the ground and they have eyes on the ground. And they have direct access to the resources. But, well, besides the fact that they just had that thing of, okay, well, now that we can't keep you our slaves, I don't want you here, so you got to go. So they had to find positive reasons for these people to want to repatriate. So, yes. When Liberia was founded, it wasn't because, oh, we so love the people, we want them to have their own space. No, that's a lie. That's not the reason why they, they, they had people go back. Basically, they didn't want black people here, period. They only wanted black people here to be slaves. And now that black people were not, like, that had ended, they had to find other ways of getting rid of people. And that was one. They couldn't just pack up on the ship anymore and be like, let's go, we're shipping y'all back. They couldn't just do that. So they had to make people feel like, oh, yeah, y'all independent. Y'all can set up your own country and blah, 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 and make people go. And a lot of people were just sick of being here. And dealing with some of the stuff they had to deal with. So, they decided to go. But by the time they got there, they were already brainwashed to think they were better than the natives that were there. Hence, the drama we have about country people and Congo people. Yeah, they were already brainwashed to think they were, they were better. So, they got over there. I'm sure there are some of them that tried to mingle and get along, you know. But... The man wasn't having it. He had to make sure that these people who have experienced the West, even when they bring back what they experienced, they had to make sure that there was conflict. They cannot have us be one. They cannot have us get along. That is the greatest fear. They cannot have the people of Africa working together as one. They want to keep us as our own enemies. That way we don't see them as the enemy. Look. Now that they got the people there, 
Now that people are always fighting, think about Liberia for a quick second. Every time something happened, right? It's always, oh, the Congo people were doing this. The, the, the miracle Liberians are doing that. Or, oh, the native people were doing that. But when you really sit down and look at the bigger picture, it was always stirred up by something from the West. It's always stirred up by something from the West. Now they got all our leaders in their pockets. And think about it. Every single leader that got killed in some kind of coup, okay? They were standing up for Africa against the Western mentality. They wanted... They, they, most of them that, that got taken out were standing up for the continent, for the people, wanting best for the generations after them. You all know the West ain't going to want to have that. They don't want that. They, they, no, they, they're not going to have that. We cannot have these black young people that are super smart. We can't have them working together. They don't want that. Because the minute that happens, we are going to disrupt whatever system that's in, in place now, and the West is going to fail. They can't have that. So anyway, long story short, we, including me, we need to go back to the continent and build it. We have to build a continent. We have to save the continent. It's our responsibility to do that. I have an American-born child. At the end of the day, she's, she's African. That's how I see her. She knows that too. She's African. Because me and you will walk down the street. They see a black person. They don't care if... You are black American, or you are black born in London, or you are black born on the continent. You're black. We are all Africans, and we need to understand that we need to come together. We need to come together. People need to start seriously considering returning to the continent and doing things there for the better. Nobody's coming to save us. I'm so sick of oh let's get the, the the u.n to intervene oh let's get let's call america recently i had a friend that went to liberia right said he was going to run for representative of one of the counties over there but anyway he came back and i'm having this conversation with him like hey what happened what's going on what, what are your plans and all that and he he was like i've given up on liberia so i was like wait what yeah he said he, he gave up on Liberia because Liberians cannot fix Liberia. As a matter of fact, he's saying he's going to start this platform to urge people. It doesn't even make any sense to me. I don't even know how to say it. Basically, he wants the UN to take over Liberia for, for like 25 years. Yeah. So basically now we're like voluntarily, like it's not enough for us to get on a plane and, and go abroad, come to the States, go to the UK, go to Dubai or wherever else and go work like these worker beats and get paid a little bit or something just, you know, because the continent is so messed up. Our leaders have messed us up really bad. That's not enough that we like come here to work our butts off. But now we should be handing Liberia over to the UN and have them run Liberia for like 25 years. Dude, you might as well have been on the continent and handed your people over to the slave traders. You might as well have been there because this is exactly what he's trying to say. But anyway, that's by the wayside. You guys, we need to focus because the plan is not to have us united. The plan is to keep us poor. The plan is to keep us hating each other. The plan is to keep us hating ourselves. The plan is to keep us 
here in the West working, working. You know, it's a trap, right? It's a trap. People back home running up here because like it's so messed up and, and, and it's a cycle. So they get into the head of this leader, put some money in his pocket. Him and his family can go anywhere, live anywhere. They have these bank accounts, you know, and they're living like their best life so that they will turn a blind eye to everything that's happening on the continent. Your people are suffering, but they don't care because they're in that mindset of, I'm okay. My kids are okay. My family is okay. So I don't care about them. Which is why we don't have good roads. If you think about it, the roads that we have only go to where we have resources that can be extracted. Yes. Sit down and think about it for a second. That's how it is. So... This cycle, they get into the head of the leader, totally mess him up in his head, and now he's a puppet. They can yank his train however they choose while his people are suffering. And these people, because they're suffering, they want to leave. So we get on the plane and fly to whatever country will take us. We get on the boat and hope not to die and make it to Europe. We get in the desert and hope not to die or end up in slavery so that we can make it to Europe or wherever else because that's what the man wants. He does that. He gets into the head of the leader. He's yanking his string. So now the entire country is a total mess. So now we're all running to the West. Guess what? We're back in slavery. This time, they're not putting us on the, on, the sh on the boat and bringing us here by force. We get on the, on, the, on the thing, the plane, we pay our own ticket, and we come here. And then reality hits, you be like, oh, crap. I'm going to be working these two jobs all, all my life. Oh, I'm going to be working these three jobs. I know people here who were lawyers and doctors back home. And then they came here. Uh, no, they're not in that position anymore. Because there's this whole process you have to go through. But you have to survive while you go through the process, right? Yep. So now we're here. When you finally go through the process to get you, you know, to some kind of stability... Then you need, you know, if you're not in the inner city where you have public trans transportation as frequent, you end up getting a car. Or having a car is just convenient. So now you get the car. Most times, if you want a reliable car, you end up taking a car payment, right? Now you're trapped because you're paying for this for several years. Then you get the house. Yeah. So you guys... Long story short, I've been saying long story short, and I'm like at 13 minutes already. But long story short, we need to start thinking about going back home. We need to start thinking about going back home, seriously. We need to go, not just go back home. Please prepare yourself. Prepare yourself when you're going back home. Don't just up and go because you can't. We have, you have to make sure when you're going back home, you're able to sustain yourself so you don't go there and then regret going. Because I'm seeing videos about people packing up all their belongings and heading down to the continent just because, well, I'll do a whole different video on that. But, and then you get into the, con the continent and you realize that, oh, uh, I'm not ready for this. It's not easy. It's a beautiful place. It can be very easy if you plan well. But seriously, we need to start thinking about going home. I am. I am. I'm seriously. Y'all know I be dreaming about Africa. I am thinking about going home. Like, seriously. But anyway, I will see if I can find the link for that video of this guy that is talking about how they should keep Africa poor because basically, in a nutshell, if Africa industrialized, the West is going to fail. Yeah. And I've been trying to say this forever. 
the West needs the continent of Africa, which is why it's so tore up. Because people are not coming to save us. They're always talking about how they're bringing free medicine, free this. Ain't nothing free. I keep telling people that. Nothing is free. People will come over there and tell y'all, we're bringing free. Let's take Firestone. I mentioned that in my, my video for July 26. Firestone, for instance. Okay. When Firestone came and signed our contract. 99 years, y'all. 99 years. They came and signed that contract. And they came and built a big plantation. Huge plantation. When we had a civil war, what happened? Y'all think Firestone was gone? Firestone was still there. And that was the best time for them because they really were not being regulated so they could do whatever. Go look it up. I'm not even kidding. Firestone was still extracting uh, uh, rubber. They were still getting rubber out while we were dying and starving and refugees in other countries and people we were fighting amongst ourselves and killing people because they were the wrong tribe. You're not my tribe. You're not that tribe. You can't speak that tribe. You're not native. You're native. We were fighting and Firestone was collecting rubber. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. Anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good day. I just want y'all to, to, to think about this. Like, seriously, think about it. I probably sound super crazy right now. But that's where my heart is. This is the stuff that be disturbing my mind when I'm laying down. We are so rich, yet we are so poor. Because we let people get in our heads. People who don't care about us get in our heads. Let me got all this stuff going on. Every day we get donation. Oh, this bank donated money. That bank donated money. This other one donated. Oh my God. Can we ever stop taking donation and just do some work? We always collecting donation, but we don't see where the donation go. Every day we collecting donation. Every day somebody donating money to Liberia. You can't even see it. Because all those people that they're giving our donation to, if go in their pocket, are part of the plan. We gave her this donation. We we said we gave her donation. And you, they would just take the for that. Oh yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Because they would rather have, like, they would rather have Barney and be able to try with that. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. We got, they got this money. They spend it however. The people are crying. But they feel good inside because they can travel, they have houses, or, you know, they got money to lavish and stuff like that. So they're only thinking about me. It's like, I do not care what you say about me as long as I'm living my best life with money that's supposed to be for you. You be crying over there. I'm going to just be over here living my best life. That's how African, African leaders be. Oh, wait, you're protesting again? Oh, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to be over here living my best life. And then the man that's up here yanking the strings be like, ha, 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 there go the puppet. Ha, 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 there go the puppet. Damn it, man, Africa. Anyway, we need to go home and fix the country. I don't I need to go home. It's crazy how many nurses I know in the States. How many doctors we have here? How many librarians who are lawyers? And now our country look at. Can you even blame them? Their kids are hard to talk. You can't, you can't even blame them. But anyway, open your eyes, people. Open your ears. Use your brains. We need to go home. Because the plan is to keep us as worker bees while we're still poor. 
I'm telling you, if we all pack up our shite right now and move back to the continent and f start to build it up and put our foot down, things will get better. But it's going to take a lot of sacrifice. We all going to have to sacrifice. We all have to sacrifice. I know I sound crazy. Because I'm feeling crazy. I'm just like tired with all this stuff going on in the world. I'm just tired with all of it. And the only thing I can think of is what can I do as an individual? And sometimes I feel like, oh, my, my one goal, I didn't go do that. It will not change nothing. But if my one goal, and then my friend go, and my friend, friend go, my friend, friend, friend go. How many people that? Everybody bring one person. Not just bring one person. Somebody who can be impact in a positive way, please. Don't just bring Yama Yama people behind you. But anyway, this, this conversation is not just for Liberia. This is not just for Liberia. My craziness I'm talking right now is not just for Liberia. It's for all of us on the continent. If you are black, mixed with any level of black, I'm talking to you. We need to start going home to do things. We need to go and build a continent. Nobody come and rescue us. Nobody is coming to rescue us. Nobody coming to save the continent. If we don't save ourselves, we don't start working on saving ourselves today. We will never be saved. Nobody coming to save us. Not the United Nations, not the World Health Organization. No, no, they come and save us. We guinea pig, they come, they will only kind can't test their medication, all that stuff on us. That's a whole different story. Nobody coming to save us on the continent. I told y'all to have a good day. 22 minutes, I'm still here. Be safe, you guys. Mwah.